Good morning. My name is Marcus Soler here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. I'm one of the annuity sales directors. I certainly do appreciate you taking some time here on St. Patrick's Day to listen in on a webinar with uh, Jake Quagliaroli here with NASA Re. Jake, we do appreciate you taking some time out today to uh, teach us more about the uh, NASA Re Growth Bonus Annuity, the newest product to hit the marketplace a 10% bonus product uh, that is going to revolutionize the marketplace. NASA does bring a revolutionary uh, product line to the marketplace with income accumulation. Uh, it is a uh, product line that uh, uh, is customizable uh, for your clients, uh, no matter where they are in their journey towards retirement income. And uh, we're going to cover a lot of those different solutions today and how you can uh, maximize your client's income potential or accumulation potential down the road uh, as we cover those solutions this morning. So Jake, we do appreciate you taking time. I'm also gonna cover some value adds from an insurance agency marketing standpoint this morning on how we can help you here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services in building your practice uh, along with the partnership uh, through our carriers and carrier partnerships. Uh, this morning. So uh, thanks again for joining us this morning. If you do have any questions as we go through the presentation this morning, please feel free to put it in the question box below. We'll try to cover those as we go through uh, the solutions and any value adds this morning and try to answer those as we go. Again, my name is Marcus Solar. I'm one of the annuity marketing directors here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. I've been with the company now about eight years uh, and i certainly do appreciate you taking time to listen in this morning uh, here are a few ways that uh, we can help you make even more money within your practice it is our new producer builder program it is a way for us to say thank you and welcome aboard the family uh, it is a way for us to help you grow your agency uh, keep you in front of people to see uh, and uh, or through marketing for your agency uh, it is for single premium life and or annuity production. Uh, we do have a $100,000 level. You can either choose the 1500 piece postcard mailer or $750 in cash back uh, all the way to the million dollar level, uh, which we can help you out with either core story brand builder, uh, get published in major news outlets like ABC, Fox News, NBC, uh, through uh, advertising, or we can get you in front of preset appointments, pre-qualified prospects, eight to 10 of them to keep your pipeline full. Again, this is good for the first six months you were on board with us. Once you choose one of these items, the program does shut off, but it, again, it is a way for us to say, thank you and welcome aboard to the family here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. We are looking forward to a long and prosperous uh, partnership for many years to come. We do have the IMS Business Builder program as well. Uh, we do have the Referral Producer program. Uh, as you refer people to insurance agency marketing, you get paid uh, not only for referring that person to insurance agency marketing services, uh, but also for the business that they continue to write through our organization. We also realize how important and expensive it is for you on an ongoing basis to run your practice. So we do have the marketing reimbursement program as well. Uh, for every 100,000 in premium for index annuity premium, you do right through our office. We do put $100 into your marketing reimbursement account, $200 for every 100,000 in single premium life, and $200 for every 10,000 in life target premium. You can use these dollars to either offset any expenditures through your practice or any marketing that you have going forward uh, to help grow your, your business at that point in time. We do have, I believe, some of the best back office support. Once you do write the business, uh, let our team here help support your business by following up on your business so you can continue to do what you do best, which is stay out in front of your prospects, running those appointments, uh, prospecting, uh, and let us follow up on that business and get that business paid for you. We also have some of the best uh, sales coaching, uh, case design managers here. Uh, we have paperless contracting. 
So let us take that uh, busy work off the table for you. So like I said, you can continue to do what you do best, which is stay in front of your prospects and clients alike. When we aren't here in the office, and let me touch on one thing before I get into our IMS website, uh, ownership here uh, has made a promise to the field because we do realize that if it wasn't for you out in the field, it wouldn't be for us here in the office. We do have a two ring challenge here in the office. We do not have voicemail. Every phone call that does come into our office is answered live within two rings. Uh, because we do realize the importance of every phone call coming into our office. We want to be there uh, at the time that you need us most. So every phone call is answered live, uh, and we try to uh, get whatever you need at the time and point that that phone call uh, does come into our office. So during business office, we are here uh, ready and helpful uh, for any need that you have at that point in time. Outside of business office, we do offer the IMS website. We do have quoting software out there, annuity, life grids, so you can check rates at any point in time, uh, current annuity news. We also have the uh, sales resource library, which is an excellent tool for you to utilize. It does have presentation items out there. If you do find yourself in a pinch, you need some presentation items uh, outside of regular business hours. We do offer Firelight. Firelight is our electronic application uh, platform. We do offer a number of different carriers listed here on the screen. It is a way for you to eliminate errors on applications as it does not allow you to go forward uh, without having every uh, box checked and line filled in. Uh, so you don't have to go back to the client and get uh, initials for mistakes made on applications thus streamlining that process uh, getting you paid quicker on uh, cases and getting policies back in your clients hands much quicker uh, some of the carriers that we do work with uh, do get policies back uh, to you uh, and into your clients hands uh, within a week uh, so this is a very uh, uh, quick uh, process nasa is a port is a, is a partner on the uh, firelight system uh, and does make that a very seamless process uh, for you and your clients alike. We do have, I believe, some of the best creative uh, marketing uh, team here at Insurance Agency Marketing Services. It is run by Curtis Hawks and Jacob Tedlock. Uh, if you have any questions, you can certainly call in and talk to any of the annuity or life marketers here. Uh, or directors, they'll be more than happy to answer any questions that you have uh, within the marketing solutions, uh, what we can do to help you achieve the next level of marketing within your own territory or backyard to uh, beat your competition. Uh, no matter where you are in your practice, whether you're just getting into the business and need help with a business logo, website, uh, we can help you there. Or if you've been in the business for 15 or 20 years, uh, and you're looking at uh, revamping your marketing, looking at doing some major publications, some green screen or customized marketing, we can certainly bring you into the office and help you uh, customize some marketing from that standpoint as well. Again, if you have any questions on our marketing capability, please give us a call and we'll be more than happy to discuss that for you at that point in time. We do offer to our partners, Retirement Analyzer. It is a retirement income tool uh, that helps you forecast your retirement income uh, needs with your clients. Uh, it also helps answer some of the questions down at the bottom of the screen with your current clientele as well. Also, what if the plan in which your clients believe to be true turned out not to be true? When would they like to know, today or the first day of retirement? The software helps answer and forecast that uh, at that point in time as well. The nice thing about the software, and I've been working with the software since 2007, is uh, number one, it is not carrier specific. Number two, it is adjustable. So when you do go back and meet with your clients on an annual basis for those annual meetings, it is adjustable. So nobody's life stays stagnant. Uh, this software will allow you to go back and make changes on those annual reviews 
uh, and let the clients know exactly where they're at uh, and what changes have taken place over the last year to show them what uh, that and those changes would uh, make for them on an ongoing basis. So if you have questions about the Retirement Analyzer software, uh, please give us a call. We'll be more than happy to uh, answer any questions with regards to Retirement Analyzer and what that might look like uh, within your practice as well. We do offer IMS Wealth Management. It is the uh, choice for financial advisors. If you are considering and getting your Series 65, uh, we have found that it uh, improves your client retention. You're not leaving any of that money on the table. If you have questions on uh, attaining your Series 65, uh, please give our office a call. You can either talk to Mike Hansen or Charles Hearing Jr. They'd be more than happy to answer any questions with regards to the Series 65 license and what that would mean to you, your family, and your practice. Again, Charles Hearing Jr. or Mike Hansen at 800-255-5055. We also uh, offer the Life and Annuity Academy. We have announced uh, some April dates. It's gonna be April 26th through the 28th in conjunction with Athene. Uh, this is a two-day event, uh, all expense paid by Insurance Agency Marketing and Athene. We're gonna be bringing in four of our uh, top producers, uh, 10 million, $7 million to $10 million producers, which are going to come in and share their sales process from prospecting to their sales process uh, to what they do to run their practice. You could spend some one-on-one -on -one time with these individuals. Uh, we're going to be talking about income writers, the best ones in the marketplace. A retirement analyzer is going to come in and share some uh, case studies on what they've seen as far as uh, case studies across the board. Uh, top uh, producer turnkey seminar systems. Uh, there's really not going to be any topic that is not going to be uh, unturned within this uh, two-day event. Uh, so if you have some interest in attending this up-and-coming event, again, April 26th through the 28th in conjunction with Athene, what we're looking for is advisors that currently have their Athene contract through our organization and are currently writing over a million dollars in production uh, in the industry, uh, please give me a call back after this event and we can certainly talk further on this topic. Again, April 26th through the 28th, all expense paid trip to Athene for some additional uh, training. We do have the Seaside Sanctuary, which is our top producer trip. Uh, qualification is running. Uh, 7 1 of 2022 through 12 31 of 2023. So, we still got some time to qualify for this event. Uh, the actual trip itself is going to be April of 2024, uh, the 14th through the 18th. So, it's going to be an excellent opportunity. The minimum qualification is going to be four and a half million in annuity production. Uh, we also count life production, long term care, med sup towards this if you have question on qualification for that and what those lines of business dollars would count or points would count towards this trip, please give our office a call. You can find out those numbers at 1-800-255-5055. We'd be more than happy to cover that information with you uh, through either any of our sales directors here at the home office. Keep in mind, we are going to be uh, releasing or should be hitting your mailboxes soon, the 2023 first quarter newsletter. Uh, if you're interested in receiving a copy, uh, please uh, give our office a call. We'd be more than happy to get you out a copy of that. Uh, but please uh, keep an eye open. Uh, if you are licensed or currently active with us, you should be receiving this in your mailboxes uh, probably within about a week now. If you do follow social media, uh, these are our links for Facebook and LinkedIn. Love to uh, have you uh, follow us on uh, these two uh, sites. We try to keep them updated on a uh, ongoing basis uh, with uh, industry trends, uh, articles and what's going on within the uh, industry. 
if there's uh, anything that you'd like to see out here, please let us know. Uh, but uh, uh, please click, click, follow us. Uh, love to have you join the family. At this point in time, what I'd like to do is go ahead and switch it over to Jake Quigley Rolly from Nassau Re. Again, Jake, I appreciate you taking uh, time out today to cover NASA. NASA has been a great partner of insurance agency marketing for uh, several years now. They bring to table a uh, tremendously uh, flexible platform of products, very uh, flexible, no matter what your clients are looking for, whether it's the income or the uh, accumulation, uh, tremendously strong on the income side as well. Um, and very versatile, uh, gives you a lot of different options in working with your clients. I'm super excited about the 10% bonus product, the new product uh, that also will give you a lot of flexibility to work with clients uh, with this new bonus product as well. So Jake, again, I appreciate you taking some time to walk through uh, this uh, solution with us this morning. Awesome, Marcus. Well, thank you for thank you for the introduction. Thank you for the opportunity to jump on the call. And, and to your point, we we launched the bonus annuity about um, a little over a month ago, um, and we have seen uh, actually for what are we on eleven consecutive days. I have not seen the numbers yet from yesterday in terms of app submits, but our all time history, our biggest app submission dates ever. So. Uh, we're getting a lot of momentum with this product. Our partnership with Insurance Agency Marketing is a main reason behind that. Um, but it, really excited to be here today. Uh, as Marcus mentioned up front, thank you for taking time out of your schedule. I know it's a St. Patrick's Day. It's the second day of that college basketball tournament, and I won't say what, what it is for, uh, for copyright infringement uh, opportunities there. But, um, again, excited to, to, to close this week out with a lot of good information. Marcus mentioned we're going to talk about really two key products today the launch of the bonus annuity, and then our income product. Some of the top in, in sort of the area of what they accomplish and what the goals are of each one of those products. As we go through those products, yes, I'm going to break them down and, and show you the hows and the whys of it. But I've also got some positioning ideas or strategy, or strategy ideas for each of the two contracts to help you sort of get an idea of, okay, where do we position these? Where, do we, where will these fit best with clients and prospects that I'm working with? Before we get there, I want to go over a couple high-level sort of why NASA, um, or maybe first and foremost, we'll start with who is NASA. The name NASA comes from from our founders, uh, born and raised in Nassau County, New York. Uh, so this is their way of sort of recognizing where they grew up. We are domiciled downtown Hartford, Connecticut. You see the first two-sided building in, in America. That is our home office, again, downtown Hartford, Connecticut. Although the name might be newer to you, might be newer to the industry, We've been doing this for over 170 years. In fact, we insured Abraham Lincoln along sort of the, the timeline trajectory of NASA. But to me, as, as I consistently say, when you think about NASA, the real power there is the strength in numbers. What do I mean by that? 400,000 plus policies in force, 20 billion in assets under management, 170 year legacy, solvency ratio of over 106%. Meaning for every dollar of liabilities NASA has on the books, we have over a dollar six in assets. We are very well positioned. We've received two AM Best upgrades in the last three years, and we'll continue to sort of move forward on that trajectory as we continue to, to fulfill our, the promises that you make to your policyholders with the benefits of the NASA portfolio. Yes, first and foremost, you want to have a company that, that, that you know and understand and has a history. But secondly, you want to be able to have efficiencies in your business. You don't want to make a recommendation of a product and then have to spend five, six, seven, eight weeks chasing that business down to get it, to get it issued. To me, one of the biggest competitive advantages today with NASA is our service platform. Our speed to issue is 17 to 18 days. We launched our suitability instant decision guarantee tool, which you see on the screen in front of you. It links up with Firelight. This is a tool in front of the e-application. It takes about five minutes to input client information, uh, information you're gonna put on the suitability comparison form. When you click, once you enter that information and you click the button, over 75% of applications utilizing this tool get an automatic green light. What does that green light mean? That means that case has already been approved. You don't have to worry about getting letter of explanation from the client, going back, getting this initial, that, that initial. That case has already been approved. 
for that 23, 24% that doesn't get the auto green light, doesn't mean the case is going to be declined. In fact, my decline rate sits at about 1.2%. What it really means is something doesn't align with the computer algorithm. You're going to have a direct access into the suitability team. They're going to have the information that you input into the system. You talk through that case, and they give you the green light to move the, move the case forward. Utilize this tool as a great opportunity to put more efficiencies back into your business, as well as take advantage of the very liberal sort of suitability guidelines. NASA will consider a case, will consider a case <clears throat> with up to a 9.9% surrender penalty. So if you're looking as we go through the products and you see the great advantages that the products offer, you're going to be able to get your arms around what type of business, what type of advantage can I give with the NASA product over maybe what they have in their current policy. Not only that, for working with NASA through insurance agency marketing, one of our preferred distribution partners, all of your production will qualify you towards NASA Elite. Very attainable, very value-rich agent value-add benefit program. So this is on top of everything that you get from insurance agency marketing. What does it take to qualify as NASA Elite? 1.75 million qualifying credits. Every dollar of FIA premium equals one qualifying credit. Every three dollars of MIGA production equals one qualifying credit. So only 1.75 million qualifying credits will first and foremost qualify you for a commission bonus. Year one of being NASA elite, you'll get a 50 basis point bonus on, on all FIA production retro to dollar one. 15 basis point bonus on all MIGA production retro to dollar one. Every consecutive year thereafter, it's a seven, you qualify, 75 basis point bonus on FIA, 25 basis point bonus on MIGA production. Compensation bonuses, enhancements to our strong service platform. You will receive a dedicated new business and post-service case manager inside of NASA. One specific person assigned to work your business for you or your back office to build a relate, relationship with and to connect with in case there was a scenario that, that needed escalated attention. And if you're one of our top 50 qualifiers, you and a guest will join us on our NASA Elite Retreat. For 2023, you're working towards the Viceroy in Los Cabos, a great opportunity to celebrate your successes, spend time with other top producers inside the company. But again, take advantage of this great program. Last year, we paid out in excess of, of $3.6 million in additional compensation. Again, a great opportunity to you, for you to really put value back into your business. And again, for working with insurance agency marketing, all submits through February, excuse me, through April 1 will count towards double credit, meaning you have the opportunity to qualify for as little as 900000 in FIA production. Jumpstart your, your access towards that second year commission bonus. Leverage this opportunity to really get you into that NASA elite program. Now, let's transition. Hopefully, obviously, a lot of you joined the call today to learn about the NASA bonus annuity. To Marcus's point, it is, to me, one of the top accumulation, bonus accumulation products in the marketplace today. It really rounds out our portfolio. Marcus used the words comprehensive. I'm going to use comprehensive, customizable, consistent. When you sit down and do a fact find with your client, at the end of the day, in putting together a successful retirement plan, we really believe that there, there's four key core areas for you that you can focus on to build that successful plan. Accumulation, principal protected accumulation, guaranteed income, then critical care and, le and legacy protection. We've got an industry leader in the income space of NASA personal income annuity. Before we close the presentation today, again, I'm gonna show you, highlight the strength of that product, where, ex where it excels, and give you a couple positioning ideas that you might not be considering or thought of when you look at this product. We also have a very strong combo benefit product with the Nassau Personal Protection Choice. Going to give you a competitive income, enhance that income for your clients that go into a nursing home or need in-home care, as well as provide a lump sum death benefit. But where we're seeing a big focus right now, in addition to the guaranteed income, is in principal protected accumulation. We just launched Nassau Bonus Annuity. Nassau Bonus Annuity is, is sort of the sister product of Nassau Growth Annuity. The conversation becomes, do you need a bonus or do you not need a bonus? Depending on which direction you elect, that's going to determine which one of those two products. On top of that portfolio, know that we still have a very strong multi-year guaranteed annuity platform. We are seeing a significant number of sales in this product. 
you can see the top four-year rate in the marketplace today with a, with a uh, competitive 5.25% rate. With that 5.25% rate, your client has access to 5% penalty-free as soon as 30 days after issue, as well as a product that pays full account value at death. A strong five-year rate, 5.5% that allows for RMDs. If your client needed a little bit more liquidity, you can see for 10% penalty-free, we have a, a strong 5.3% rate on our five-year product. But now let's get to the sizzle, NASA bonus annuity. Again, a product that's been out for about a month, and we are, as I mentioned up front, seeing a significant increase in overall volume and sales with this product. The sizzle, the first one of two sizzle points with this contract, issue ages zero to 80, you have a 10% premium bonus account value bonus. You come in with a $100,000 deposit, that account is immediately $110,000, and it's working accumulating interest based on the allocation strategies for your client. 81 to 85, very strong 7% premium bonus. But again, highlight first feature there, that 10% bonus on the NASA bonus annuity. Design, flexibility and customization. This is a 10-year surrender charge schedule product. 10-year product with a 10% bonus. Not only that, 10% penalty free as soon as 30 days after issue. With that built-in 10% penalty free, obviously your client has access to 10% of the account value, so that premium bonus is working for them as well. And anything up to and, and under that 10% bonus, or excuse me, that 10% withdrawal is also no chargeback to the advisor within that first contract year as well. So access to cash, bonus. Two optional income riders, which we really won't spend time on today, but know if you're looking for some supplementary income guarantees, you do have that opportunity with NASA bonus annuity. The other sizzle point, sizzle point two though, is the crediting rates that you have with NASA bonus annuity. And again, I'm gonna show you a slide here in a couple minutes, highlighting the, the when, when bonus annuity versus non-bonus annuity. But to me, the point that sticks out the most, where we're seeing a lion's share of allocations, one year S&P 500 with a cap, very strong 9.1% first year cap. This is our group A states. You see those states with availability up top. Group B states, for those not on the screen there, it's a very strong 8.65% cap. We're also seeing a significant amount of business flow to that one year par rate S&P 500. You can see base par rate of 37%. The client also has the ability to enhance that par rate for a 1% strategy fee, annual strategy fee, we're gonna increase that par rate. And then the fixed account garners a lot of attention as well. Current first year rate is 3.45%. So we spend a lot of time talking about S&P, but no, we also have allocation opportunities, one and two year credits, credits with NASDAQ. And what I wanna highlight about S&P and NASDAQ, they are pure S&P NASDAQ indices, meaning no vol control. No, no managed index. It is the true S&P and NASDAQ. If you're looking for volatility control, we've got that at the bottom part of the screen with our Sunrise Smart Passage Index, an index comprised of the 200 least volatile stocks inside of the S&P 500. But the, the strength or the differentiator, if you will, is that Smart Passage comes with a sort of, I'll call it an industry leading, I don't know of another one out there that's higher, of a 16.5% volatility target. And remember, for those of you not really familiar with vol control, at the end of the day, what vol control is, is it's your exposure to the index that we're tracking. And if you think volatility over the last couple of years has hovered between 20 and 25%. Now it's, it's peaked above that, but it's averaged about 20, 25%. If you're offering a product with a 5% vol target, in essence, you're tracking that index 20, 25% of the time. With a 16.5% vol target, you have substantially more access exposure to the index that you're tracking, and par rates you see as high as 160%. With each one of those strategies, we offer the ability to illustrate. In those illustrations, we're going to show you the last, best, and worst 10-year period. And to me, the value here, as I'm sure many of you know, is this gives you the opportunity to weigh the fee versus no fee strategy, one-year reset versus two-year reset and really get comfortable with the different allocation strategies 
or, or diversification, diversified accumulation story that you're going to potentially work with the, with the client. As we transition, I quickly, before I give you sort of a sales positioning idea, I want to take two or three slides and, and highlight NASA growth annuity. This is sort of the complementary product, a non-bonus product of NASA bonus annuity. Similar features, zero to 85 issue ages. The differentiator, because you're not getting that 10% upfront bonus, you can see you have an 11.5% cap versus 9.1% with bonus annuity. You have one year par rates as high as 53% compared to the 42 with the bonus annuity. Vol control par rates as high as 205% versus the 160. So you're getting higher participation rates, higher crediting opportunities with growth annuity by foregoing that upfront bonus. So when you think about why, why bonus versus non-bonus, right? I'm sure most of us on the call are, are familiar with the strategy, but to me, the old adage is, old, are we talking about old money or new money? When I think new money, I'm thinking inheritance. I'm thinking, I, I come across a client that has money sitting in a mattress, sitting in a checking account. There's really no potential penalty or market loss that you need to overcome or that you need to give them a bonus to incent that client. So in that scenario, what I want to do is maximize my upside opportunity. I don't need a bonus to overcome any, any potential objections there. Let's get the highest crediting rates that we can. When I think about old money, I'm talking about, hey, maybe I've got a, a client uh, that I've come across that, that got an, bought an FIA six, seven years ago. The pricing environment was extremely different six, seven years ago. More likely than not, that product has underperformed. Not only has it probably underperformed, we're sitting in, in caps and par rates that are at or near product minimums. Now, because I've got a small penalty or small surrender charge, I've got the opportunity to overcome that with the bonus product. For that bonus, yes, I'm giving up a little bit from an accumulation, from a crediting rate standpoint, but I'm offsetting that bonus and really incenting that client to be able to move those assets. So let's, when we think about crediting rates, when I, when I focus on the next slide after, after the one we're going to talk about now, why, why in the pricing environment that we're in, bonus versus non-bonus? And what I might say might actually surprise some of you. But when we talk about accumulation, to me, the most important factor of an accumulation-based product or choosing a carrier to work with on the accumulation side is renewal rate integrity. Right? You're the one sitting down with the client hopefully three years from today, five years from today, doing annual reviews. And the one thing you don't want to do is, is sit down and have a product that up front you're getting a 9.1% cap, and now four years later I'm sitting there with a 3% cap. And that obviously happens in, in some of the pricing environments that we're in. But with NASA, we publish our renewal rate history. We're being, we want to be transparent with you. We're working on automating this, getting this online, so you will have the access. You don't have to get the marketing piece from us. You'll be able to see this online by inputting a policy date or an issue date. What we show you on our, our transparency is really that first light blue column is volatility index. So volatility in the open markets. From a pricing environment, what you're generally going to see is when volatility is higher in renewal periods than it was at issue or the prior renewal period. Generally, what that means is option costs are higher. And if option costs are higher, you're unfortunately going to have to see renewal rates generally decrease. But what you also want to see is if volatility is lower, that means option prices have generally come down, meaning the carrier should be able to maintain or increase those par rates. And so what you see, obviously, volatility over the last couple of years, and that's why maybe it's a little hard to follow the, the sheet that we've got there, but because volatility has been all over the map, you see a lot of red and green. And what that shows is we are sticking to that philosophy. There are periods of time where volatility is lower, than it was the prior, the prior anniversary, allowing us to increase those par rates. We're going to continue to be transparent to help you feel as comfortable as possible when you look at these types of products. Now, let's show you one more idea of the whys. Why bonus versus non-bonus product? And in this pricing environment, it might, it might shock you, but I'm generally going to say, I think overall, based on your expectations of what markets are going to do, you're potentially better off going with a bonus product 
almost almost 95% of the time. So what you see on the left hand, the upper left hand side of the screen, you got our first column, which is the Nassau growth annuity, our one year S&P cap of 11.5%. That third column is the MBA 10% bonus product where the cap is 9.1%. And what we're saying, and, and again, I, I understand this is just generic and, and we don't expect year in and year out to average 5% per year. But at a 5% market return for the next 10 years, that bonus annuity significantly outperforms growth annuity, almost seven, sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars $17,000 more in accumulation. Looking further down those columns, if you, if you say we, let's say we average a 10% return for the next 10 years, the overall growth is about equal. So by getting that 10% bonus up front and allowing it to start work for our client, we're really trying to maximize that upside opportunity. Well, what if you're a par rate fan? Here we've got bonus annuity, base, base par rate 48% versus 37% in our bonus annuity. You can see a 5% return. The bonus annuity still outperforms by about six, uh, by about what, seven, eight thousand dollars or excuse me, five, six thousand dollars. At a 10% return, we're still overall fairly close, about a thousand dollars difference. So to me, based on the environment that we're in today, you know, I, I mentioned that old money versus new money. If caps and, and par rates were lower, so where they were three, four years ago, then the conversation is going to become a little bit different. But if you anticipate, you know, I, I would say if you expect the markets to return on average of, of 15 plus percent per year, non-bonus product is going to outperform bonus annuity because of, of the higher caps and higher par rates. But if you expect to be somewhere in that 10% or lower, you can see potentially that bonus annuity might be the story or the way, the path to go from an overall accumulation standpoint. Now let's quickly talk personal income annuity. And I'm gonna show you again a sales concept or a product positioning idea that, that I, I've had a lot of conversation with over the last couple of weeks as I've been at conferences and sitting down with different advisors and different carriers. But in order to get there, no personal income annuity, Slightly different criteria, zero to 80 is our issue age. The strength of this product was taking a bucket of assets and providing a guaranteed annual lifetime income, providing top guaranteed lifetime income in the industry today. You have access to income as soon as 30 days after issue through the guaranteed lifetime income rider or the 10% penalty free. Once you uncover the, the goal or, or the purpose of a bucket of assets is income. The only question you have to ask at that point in time is when. When are you transitioning from the accumulation to the distribution phase? If it's within the first three years after issue, you're electing our income today rider, a rider that's going to give your client an immediate 30% bonus to their income account. So they come in with $100,000 at issue, their income account sits at $130,000. If they defer one year, at the end of the 12th month, NASA has a 7.5% bonus on top of the 30. And if they defer 24 months, we had another 7.5% bonus, giving that client a full 45% increase to their benefit base. Time horizon a little bit longer, so we're thinking 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 years down the road before we activate income, but that client is looking for the principal protection. They're looking for the guaranteed growth. That's where you're going to elect the income tomorrow rider. And instead of a big upfront bonus, here what we're going to do is we're going to grow your client's benefit base at a guaranteed 14% simple per year for up to 10 years with the ability to re-up for another 10, or until the client activates income, whichever comes first. Marcus will tell you, the entire team at IMS will tell you, it's a, it's a very easy process. It's a one-page illustration, a side-by-side -side comparison of income today versus income tomorrow. And earlier this year, in January, we increased the payout factors on this product by as much as 18% across the board. What you generally see now is a client taking income as soon as 30 days after issue through the 10th contract anniversary, NASA is going to show up one or two across the board in the industry. So now you've got some of the top accumulation-based products. Coupled with some of the top guaranteed lifetime income products in the marketplace today, it allows you, again, to customize that retirement plan for that client, maximize their dollars, and maximize the benefits that they're receiving. But now let me show you sort of a sales concept. As I mentioned, I got, I got into a couple sort of conversations over the last couple of weeks at, at Environments. And to me, if you're selling an income-based product, what I want to do is maximize income to that client. I want to squeeze every single penny that I can 
from an income perspective. And in order to do that, I also want to minimize tax liability to that individual. If I'm looking for accumulation, if I'm looking to, to replace that asset, then maybe I should be looking at an accumulation-based product with penalty-free withdrawal. But let's look at it like this, $100,000 non-qualified account, 68-year-old client. They elect income today, so they're going to get a 30% bonus on top of that 100 k activating the income immediately. They have a guaranteed lifetime income of $7,371. If that client is in the 22% tax bracket, if that $30,000 benefit base also applied to the account value, which it does not with the personal income annuity, that would create a tax liability of over 66, of roughly $6,600 to the consumer. But because the bonus only applies to the income account, the client is never able to walk away. It's the value that NASA uses to calculate the guaranteed lifetime income stream. They're getting this bonus, helping offset potential market losses, surrender penalties, but they're not being negatively impacted from a tax cost, from a tax basis standpoint. And let's say that $100,000 grew at 6% per year, right? We know that when you look at annuities, generally it's last in, first out. At a 6% growth rate, you've got roughly $1,300 in annual taxes. So let's take that scenario. With the Nassau product, you get that big bonus up front, $73.71, which translates to $614 on a monthly basis. That same client, if, if we're trying to do the best of both worlds and get them income as well as accumulation. We take that same 64371 and if it's not in the personal income annuity, that creates $110 a month tax liability, meaning their income would drop to $504.25. By working with a product that really is designed to maximize income and limit tax liability to the consumer, We've generated over $100 in additional monthly income to the client on just a $100,000 deposit. Now, the other great thing is if the client really wants to focus on accumulation on top of it, let's find, let's see if we can do a, a joint or a combo sale. We're going to put a portion of the assets into personal income annuity, maximizing income by also reducing tax liability, and then we're potentially offsetting that income that comes out by leveraging the strength of NASA bonus annuity or NASA growth annuity. And because we're not potentially taking that asset on an annual basis from an income perspective, it's not going to be considered, uh, it's not going to obviously be considered income at that point in time or growth, so the client's not going to be penalized on that. So again, just a, a concept, and hopefully hopefully that made sense. It's, it's something that, that as, I, as I mentioned, over the last couple of weeks as I've been at conferences and, and I've seen different products out there which aren't offering as much income, but it's offering a better growth opportunity. It got, it got me thinking and having conversations with advisors of what are we really trying to accomplish? And if it income, max income is what we're trying to accomplish, we want to do that while also minimizing tax liability. If growth is what we want, then let's look at an accumulation-based product, a bonus accumulation product that offers 10% liquidity, and we can meet our income needs on that basis while maximizing that upside. I'm going to wrap it up. And then we'll turn it over to Marcus for, for Q&A or any conversations that there might be on top of this. But remember, by choosing to work with NASA with Insurance Agency Marketing, a valued distribution partner for NASA, preferred distribution partner, every premium dollar that you submit works towards qualifying as NASA elite. Compensation enhancements, dedicated, dedicated service managers, as well as being if you're one of our top 50 producers, which last year in 2022 came in at roughly $2.5 million very attainable for elite retreat status within the NASA elite program. When you think again about the portfolio, you have industry leading income with the NASA personal income annuity. You have strong industry leading accumulation on a bonus and a non-bonus base with NASA growth annuity and NASA bonus annuity. And if you're looking at covering income as well as covering principal, uh, excuse me, nursing home, in-home care enhancement, lump sum death benefit, You've got the NASA Personal Protection Choice, a product that provides that competitive income, will enhance your client's income by up to 250% if they were to go into a nursing home, as well as offer a lump sum death benefit with our Family Protection Rider, which grows your client's premium at a 10% simple roll-up, and again, will pay any 100% lump sum death benefit payout to the beneficiary. So with that said, again, 
I can't first and foremost thank you enough for taking time out of your schedule to learn a little bit more about NASA bonus annuity and all the opportunities that we have from a product standpoint at NASA. I can't thank Marcus and the entire team at IMES for, for the time and opportunity to continue to promote the strength of the NASA portfolio to work with you to provide the best solutions out there in the industry today. With that said, I, I wish you obviously a, a, a great, a safe weekend. Uh, if, if you're going out and enjoying some green beer, green water, whatever it may be, have a safe St. Patty's Day. But before we close it out, Marcus, again, thank you for the opportunity. I'll kick it back to you to wrap things up for the day today. I appreciate that, Jake. And I just want to throw out there, and a couple of people have a couple of different questions around what is the, uh, in the bonus 10% product, Jake, what is the fixed account right now? Yeah, so the, the fixed account is 3.45% okay, so uh, in the one-year fixed account. Okay, so I just want to touch base on that real quick because I, I've got I've gotten a lot of different questions here over the last week with a lot of carriers dropping rates on the, the multi-year guarantee products. Now, NASA is very competitive on their five-year multi-year guarantee product, but if you were to take a look at maybe going into the bonus product instead of going into a multi-year guarantee product, and putting for the first year because of the volatility in the marketplace, putting 100% of that money into that fixed account, you're looking at a 13, what, 13, four, five first year yield, even yep. spreading that out over two years beats any MIGA rate out there in the industry right now. Um, and we're not even counting the second year rate on that, keep in mind. And then if the marketplace comes around, uh, again, in most cases, you're probably gonna be outpacing uh, any any MIGA rate at that point in time. Would that be a fair assumption based on the screen you put up on on, on uh, number 29, Jake? I think Marcus, that's a 100% of a fair assumption. You know, we are seeing a lot of that. You know, I mentioned really the two strategies that are getting the most play are the one-year cap um, mm -hmm. as well as the one-year fixed account. So when you take that three, four, five rate, to your point, put it in with the bonus, You've got 13.45. If you're getting five and a half percent fixed rate on a MIGA over a two-year period, you're at what roughly 11 percent, give or take right. compounding versus simple. Right. Um, so to your point, you you still outpaced it without even adding in that second-year fixed rate. Right. Correct. So it's something just to keep in mind from an overall standpoint. It's an excellent opportunity. Again, you're building in that flexibility. Plus, I mean, if the and when the marketplace turns around a little bit. You, you got a lot more di diversification options for your client at that point in time. Um, I got a question that just popped up here. Is there a percentage contribution limit on what can be allocated to the fixed account, Jake? You want to answer that? Yeah, I'd be happy to answer that. So at this point in time, there is there is no restriction to, um, to, to what can be allocated to the fixed account. Um, so you could put, to your point, you could put 100% of the assets into the fixed account, and really leverage that first year opportunity between the bonus and the one year fixed rate with with 100% of the premium. Now, are there any states that are not approved on a new bonus 10% product? There are a couple states that right now are not approved. Um, if if I can recall correctly, the, the biggest state the, to me, the biggest two states right now are are unfortunately California and New Jersey. We are close. We also don't have I think Idaho, Indiana and maybe one other state, um, but we are aggressively working with those states. A lot of it right now is, is the product has been approved. We just have to go through and get the, the paperwork approved or, or the illustration approved. So we're close in a lot of those states. And if I, I mention your state, know that probably within the next 30 to 45 days, we will have many of those coming on board with the bonus annuity. Um, any any other questions out there in the meantime that uh, folks have? Um, I'm going to throw a uh, poll out there. If you'd like some more information on the growth annuity or NASA RE, please let me know. I will be more than happy to uh, uh, answer any of that or follow up with you after the webinar this morning. Uh, Jake, I do appreciate you taking some time out here on uh, St. Patrick's Day. Again, uh, like Jake indicated, I hope uh, if you do go out and uh, enjoy St. Patrick's Day a little bit later today, please be safe. Uh, but I do appreciate everyone taking some time this morning to listen in. 
I will be following up. I did have one other question pop up. If the presentation is going to be available <laughs> later, if you do want a copy of the presentation, I'd be more than happy to get that out to you so you can listen to it at your own convenience. If you did get pulled away uh, this morning by a phone call or a client stopping in the office, I will get you a copy of the uh, presentation in full. But I do appreciate everyone's uh, time this morning. Again, my name is Marcus Solar. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up this morning. Hope everyone has a great uh, afternoon, and I will look forward to seeing you on the next webinar. Thank you.